One of the troopers recruited. I'll show you. Well, we got to get a PD. I'll show you where it's going to be. Garcia yeah, trooper. I want to. Well, I don't know who. I don't know what people are like these days. I was going to do it a while back, but the uh, other PD ended up going to Davis Street for I don't know who the fuck uses that, but whatever it was for other people. But this is going to be the uh, the trooper place here. And it's not. It's not very big. Yo, know, limp when you get out of the vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, this is gonna be it. It's it's a, it's uh, it's, uh, it's only a small uh, department, but it's enough that we can like do our own, you know, meetings and shit like that. So I don't, I honestly want to separate us entirely. Uh, as a as a department, and this is uh, actually this is this is what I wanted the police to be like to begin with. But for some reason, they wanted to be the quote unquote unified police department or whatever the fuck it is. I actually wanted them to be like their own departments, own own PDs, like recruit their own people, literally control everything about their um their 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 department. That was that was the original idea with uh, the the three cops, and that's what I want to do with uh, troopers. Essentially, just uh, we'll we'll still be in the same calls and shit, but like its own training program, its own recruitment program, all that sort of shit. Essentially. That's what Kyle was trying to do. Kyle's trying to make a police department, I think. But either way, like, uh, I think, uh, I think it's good that they do their own recruitment and everything like that, but I don't think everyone's for that. And I, and I, and I can understand that. But, uh, I feel like the troopers, we can do that. Like, uh, you know, when we, when we bring people in, we train them how we want, and then they're ready to bring people in and train them how we've shown. You know what I mean? Uh, and I just expect it to be a higher quality police department. That's all. And it shouldn't be too hard to achieve that. I mean, everybody in here so far is pretty good with the law. You know, they go to court cases. They'll understand how to, you know, articulate what, what's happening there majority of the time. Uh, they're good at controlling scenes. Uh, you know, they can drive reasonably well. Do, do they, they, can, they can do everything, really. But yeah, now we've actually got a police department. I wanna, I wanna flesh that shit out. How many troopers do I want? Infinite. I don't wanna, I don't wanna limit to it. That's, that's the thing. So, well, when I say troopers, I, I mean the officers under the troopers. So, uh, there's no, there's no limit really. But troopers, though, like the, the higher rank ones will also, will still be uh, rare. So you just be like an officer or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what we got to name it, but I would have did this forever ago if we uh, had to go Davis PD out of the way. But uh, we ended up getting this one instead, which is cool. I think I think it's going to help with popular street activity as well. Uh, Auto is getting changed up. It's going to make this little little place. I think because uh, also PDM is now coming to autos as well. Uh, in the update so uh this this pdm here is essentially deleted uh and it's going to be a rental for hno so wh whenever you rent a car from hno you just get it here essentially because nobody nobody goes to this fucking pdm because it's a fucking you know someone buys a car once every year so essentially we've moved it to this so there'll be secondhand car sales normal car sales a gas station and the repair shop here in this little hub uh the pd will be here um, obviously they already get the the police repairs and shit but uh this 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 little place should still somewhat be lively uh you know co co compared to what it is at the moment let's go actually have a look and see what it's like leaks uh i mean that's already been shown what uh is happening at autos the pdm stuff moving uh was also set in roleplay by Otto like fucking months ago. But no, there's still, there's still people here. But the thing is, why, why I think uh, we need to utilize more of, and, and why I think Little Soul will, will be successful, is you need to put the businesses on top of each other. So 
if there's two businesses, right? PDM and autos. PDM gets bored because uh, nobody's buying cars. They can talk to people at autos. They don't, have, they don't have to stand there with a dick in their hand and they can still get paychecks and shit like that. So it naturally creates a reason to, you know, at least be there without being fucked in the ass, essentially. And that's why I think the, the whole hub updates is a good idea. Uh, and when we get what we think is right, we can look at, you know, changing up, uh, you know, what, what we're going to do. I got, we got, we got, I got some fucking, I, you, the, I, I'm, I'm more excited to see what we do with the, uh, the zombie server. I think it's actually going to be fucking insanely cool. In all honesty. Some of the, uh, the concepts we have for that, um, instead of like, uh, because I, I don't expect it to last like so so there'll, there'll be a server that will last right like that you know we we, we want to put a zombie server out and, and, it, and it will be playable all the time but essentially we you know my, my idea for it is like a mini season essentially so uh the idea is we will get uh groups of people um streamers obviously because you know that's where the content will actually be funny um but the the idea behind the server is something like uh you're gonna get placed in the world uh the zombie apocalypse is happening and you have to find your uh solution to the to the world issue within a time period essentially and everybody is going to be uh faction based uh and those factions aren't like police or whatever it's just like random factions or group based gang based whatever and you have to pretty much you know try to succeed on the on the mission to uh cure the virus within the time period and uh whoever does uh will probably like do a irl reward for it like cash or some shit like that just to make it interesting is it still in gta yeah it's gonna be a gta fully uh remodded so it'll be like overgrown grass and shit everywhere and you know buildings looking run down and shit like that so the the idea for it is not to last forever like i said so you'd be we, we you know i i know it's not going to be a fucking one year server but if we do like a three week stint where everybody has to do this within three weeks you have heists to get medical supplies you have heists to get military guns um you know just in general it's role play but you have to survive and there's more to it uh you know building out bases uh fortifying areas shit like that to uh to, to prevent death essentially um and also invasion from other crews uh I, I think there's a lot of content that can be had in a brief period of time but obviously if it was drawn out over months it would get boring but i think um if we do a three week uh thing it's like optimal Hey, can you give me a Oh, person? what are you doing? This car is flagged the stall. I wasn't on radio, so I was coming up to see what no you were doing. When I was moving this car, since no tow is available, I was wanting to see if you could accompany me, but I got a car with us, so we're all good. That's okay. What are you heading to? Just PD? Impound, Lord. Oh, impound. Yeah, yeah. I'll, okay, I'll come with you either way. Go ahead. The zombie games. Yeah, so can you consider it like squid games? There'll be like mini events and shit everywhere, but like over a much longer period. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not, so it's more like uh, yeah it's more like Hunger Games I guess rather than Squid Games. But I think it's a I think it's a cool concept you know role play but you know the goal is to essentially find a cure and if you don't the entire world is just decimated and then you have to try again later. But if, uh, if they succeed, yeah, yeah, sure. Come on. uh, if they succeed, you then like, to... um, you know, uh, the, they people, the people win and someone will win like a cash prize or some shit. We'll get a trophy in game as well or something. And I think, uh, I think the whole 21 days is, uh, the, the good thing about it is when we drop this, we could literally push a huge update for the NoPixel server for when it ends. So as soon as it ends, 
you know maybe maybe there's a heist update or some shit like that and people can come back to uh you know more content so it'll give us a bit of a life cycle and then uh if it you know if it's good we can do it again like six months later or some shit like that um and even if like the role play server starts to die off which obviously it's going to um we can still do mini events here and there and people can people can come back and have a bit of fun for a week or two Mov is stimulating our anticipation well i want you guys to i want you i want the viewers to think about how good it be, can be and i want the streamers to think about how uh interesting it'll be because the the reality is if the stream is having fun and it's interactive um you know we're all gonna enjoy it right viewers are not like it's it's, it's literally just gonna be fun because it's got everything is going to be entirely new to you you know different types of fucking high survivability shit like that um new characters every, everything's going to be so like refreshed that uh it'll, it'll it'll just it'll just be uh it'll just be fun any plans for the hardcore hardcore server uh there's something possibly in this update related to like hardcore options I'm not 100 percent sure uh i wanted i wanted to be in but it was sort of something i brought up last minute to uh possibly uh be there and then depending on how that goes we could look at um you know using that for the hardcore interface essentially so eta to a zombie server uh we we're gonna look at updating it after this update so you content equals a lot of views especially if x is gonna play gta again uh i assume x probably won't play unless there's heist related shit uh but i think that's for a lot of people there's a, x isn't the only one burnt out but luckily what x has is he's a variety gamer uh and he can play whatever the fuck he wants whenever he wants not everybody on gta can do that and that's the reason they're still here Otherwise, people like me would be going to do variety. I guarantee 99% of the people on this server would be playing other games if they could pull the same viewers. But they can't. So, here we are. Any update on RDR2? Uh, so, yeah, I guess. Uh, RDR2... Um it's we, we i can i can literally pump anything out on rdr2 in in the click of a finger so it it can literally copy any mod from uh gta to that so the core of all our systems are ready uh the problem with red dead is and i expected something to happen by now is you're stuck with 32 players in each scope so i don't think it's worth pumping time into something like that that is not going to be more exciting than or last as long as uh gta you know what i mean it's like it's like the zombies in a way but at least zombies you can have 250 people um in red dead uh you're not gonna have the same vibe uh the people will, from dispatch the people will be able to you know sort of connect with so knowing him he's probably either not listening or not on radio 32 in one scope is what it, there's there's no limit to scopes in gta everything i had to do uh maybe a player plus, limit is uh either turn it off or turn it back on or would you put out your own framework <laughs> for 5m yo we'd have to fucking rewrite the entire thing to be honest if we did that but it's definitely something the devs here could consider uh once no pixel you know content wise isn't, isn't as uh not you're all good 1037 you know oh, wild i guess we should do an armor server for a weekend we have i mean honestly we probably could but i don't know if i still have all the old files and shit from uh no pixel i know i've got some of the mission files and shit but i don't think i got like all the 3d shit that we need I'm sure somebody does, but like I've done so many mods over the time. I just fucking I I I, I most people will save this shit on a hard drive. I just fucking delete that shit, dude. I made a pro mod for Black Ops. I don't know where the fuck that is. I had some snipe mod. It's still on the repo, but it's like dog shit. 
uh, and armor. I'm pretty sure we have the mission files, but not the not the modded files. So the old files are available in places. Yeah, maybe. What's so funny there? Right, Nothing? right, right. Yes, right, 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 right. Frankie played on the Armor 3 servers, I believe. Uh, the A3L servers. I didn't do any... Um, I didn't control any servers until no because it was made, essentially. There was A3L. Uh, I was just a player on and pretty much got banned from. Um... Then there was Critical Gaming, I dev for, uh, I pretty much got banned from, <laughs> because, because, because I fucking, you know, just sort of shit talked them. And then, um, I just made no pixel and that's where it took off in the armor days, like fucking five years ago or some shit, I don't know. Well, listen, my shit talk wasn't like, uh, you know, you're a cunt, you're a piece of shit type shit. Although they, although they were, like, uh, these guys were the streamers that were dropping, like, F-bombs and shit on Twitch back then. Um, but it was just, like, really cringe who, how those communities were run. Um, the head admins were essentially, like, uh, psychos. They were fucking nutjobs, honestly. So there was like salt rooms and all this sort of shit. They treated people like absolute dog shit. And, and that's me saying that. Like I I'm an asshole and I treat people like shit. But I was I was not on board with that sort of shit back there. Uh, and I, I didn't really have a say in anything on critical gaming except for like modding. So I could mod whatever the fuck I wanted. And I'd just tell them pretty much eat a dick because no one else would mod. Um, and then it got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm, a, I'm playing Rust on uh mr moon server and then i'm like bro i'm just gonna make a fucking server i couldn't even be bothered and as soon as i stopped doing updates for them the their server died they had the copium of like oh we got to make our own map like coil is on no pixel and shit and then you know here we are five years later it never happened okay to know cg had different people um it was like Jimmy, Jimmy LaHaye, uh, MTZ, and I think Pinky were the head admins. Some shit like that. I don't fucking know. But, uh, you know, to be fair, I think they all changed quite a bit. Well, some of them changed quite a bit, but back then, bro, like... It, it, they, it, it felt like, okay, so it felt like they were your parents, right? And if you went against them, they'd kick you out of the house, right? That's what it felt like. It was it was literally like fucking Game of Thrones, but the virgin version. 